everyone, my name is Allison. Welcome to Dinosaur Life, a place where we live life to the fullest. Today, we are going to do something with a very big claim. We are going to make you feel happier for the duration of one month. <laughs> big claim, I know. Maybe you have heard of the podcast The Happiness Lab by Dr. Lori Santos. I am a big fan. And it sounds like it's some mushy, like, feely stuff. But honestly, it's a ton of research and a ton of science. And what we're doing today is something that she talked about recently in Season 2, Episode 2. You can check it out. Many of us know that gratitude is really good for us. It's good for our emotional health, our physical well-being, our relationships. I have several journaling videos about writing down gratitudes, but today we're pushing it further. It's gonna be vulnerable. Don't run away. You can do this. What we are doing today is writing a thank you letter. The science comes from Dr. Nicholas Epley from the University of Chicago Boots School of Business. And he had people write gratitude letters and he found that his subjects had a higher rating on this happiness test scale for a month. There are some criteria to this. You have to choose someone who you don't think on a frequent basis. So choose like a coworker or something, maybe not your mom, but you should thank your mom anyways today. The second criteria is you have to take this letter and give it to the person in person. <laughs> so write to someone that you're going to be able to see and hand it to them and watch them read it. Terrifying, I know. Don't turn the video off. We can do this. So we'll start this video off like we normally do. Grab your pen and your journal, but then we set it aside and we're going to breathe. Deep inhales and exhales. Think about who you're going to choose to write to today. All right, open your journal, and I want you to write down the name of the person that we're writing to. Next, I want you to write down one quality that you really admire in that person. This will be the focus of our letter. And maybe a letter's intimidating. Maybe it's just a thank you note. It doesn't have to be that long. Last thing before we start our actual letter, I want you to think of a story, of a memory about this person that exemplifies the characteristic that you just wrote down. I think we're ready to write our letter, but I'm gonna tell you a few things beforehand. Oftentimes, when people start writing gratitude letters, they're a bit stressed, it feels vulnerable, and that is because we're already focusing on ourselves. We're thinking about our writing abilities, or like if we're saying the right thing, or our grammar, or our spelling. Nobody cares about that. The person who is reading your letter is going to be so touched um, just by the feelings that you are conveying. You could probably write like, hey, so-and-so, 
thanks for being awesome, signed me, and you would really touch their heart and you would still feel a lot better after this. I'm going to be writing in this beautiful card that my cousin gave me. Isn't it the most beautiful card you've ever seen in your whole life? <laughs> We're gonna spend five minutes writing our letter and then it's up to you to deliver it. And I hope that you're using the notes that we took as a guide. Think of them as little sentence starters. Something I admire in you is, I remember this one time that you did this. about one minute left.
I'm already so happy thinking about giving this to my friend. <laughs> one way that you can make yourself and someone else feel better. I am so thankful that you guys did this difficult and sort of vulnerable task with me. Thank you for being here with me. I can't wait to give my letter to my friend. I'm really excited about it. If you like this video, make sure you click subscribe and leave notes in the comments because those are really, really helpful to me improving these videos. Bye everyone.